Are you launching Blue Archive on PC and getting stuck on a pink screen? Or maybe the screen turns black and freezes completely? You're not alone, this issue is frustrating thousands of players on Steam right now. But don't worry, in the next few minutes, I'll walk you through every working fix step by step to get your game running smoothly again. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're playing Blue Archive on Steam and facing black screens, pink screens, or even crashes after the logo, this video is your complete guide. Whether it's a graphics setting, a file conflict, or even a driver issue, we're going to solve it all. Let's start with the most common and effective fix first, then move on to deeper tweaks. Fix 1. Disable Compatibility Mode and DPI Scaling The most reported fix is related to how Blue Archive handles Windows compatibility and display scaling. Here's what you do. Right-click Blue Archive in your Steam library. Select Properties, then Installed Files, then Browse to open the game folder. Find the main.exe file, usually called bluearchive.exe. Right-click it. Properties. Compatibility tab. Uncheck everything. Especially. Run this program in compatibility mode. Disable full screen optimizations. Click change high DPI settings, and make sure override high DPI scaling is unchecked. Now apply and close. Launch the game again, for many, this alone fixes the pink or black screen issue. Fix 2, Force DirectX 11 mode via launch options. Some GPUs don't play well with the default rendering method used in Blue Archive. Forcing DirectX 11 can help avoid pink artifacts or a stuck screen. Steps Open Steam Library. Right-click Blue Archive. Properties. Under Launch Options, type this. DX11. Save and try launching the game again. This forces the game to use DirectX 11, which is far more stable for most systems. Fix 3. Delete local config cache files. Corrupted config files or shader caches can trigger a black screen. Here's how to clear them. Press Windows plus R and type. Percent local app data percent. Hit enter. Find and delete the Blue Archive folder. Also, delete the cache folder in percent app data percent. Don't worry, these files will be recreated automatically when the game launches. This gives it a fresh start without old conflicts. Fix 4, update or roll back GPU drivers. GPU drivers can make or break this game. Step 1, update drivers. NVIDIA users, use GeForce Experience. AMD users, use Adrenaline Software. Intel GPU users, use Intel Arc Control or Driver Assistant. If you're already on the latest drivers and the issue started recently, try rolling back your drivers to an earlier version. Some recent updates have caused issues with shader rendering. Fix 5, reinstall with clean startup. Still stuck? Try this complete refresh method. Uninstall Blue Archive from Steam Delete Leftover Data. Restart your PC. Now reinstall the game fresh from Steam. Before launching, disable any overlays like Discord, MSI Afterburner, Razor Cortex, etc. This ensures you're launching the cleanest version of the game without interference. That's it. One of these fixes should solve your black or pink screen issue in Blue Archive on Steam. If it worked for you, let others know in the comments so we can help the community. Still stuck? Drop your specs and issue below, I reply to every comment. And if this video helped you, consider subscribing for more fast fixes and PC game optimizations every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.